Exodus 40. The Lord said to Moses, Set up my tent on the first day of the year, and put the chest with the Ten Commandments behind the inside curtain of the tent. Bring in the table, and set on it those things that are made for it. Also bring in the lampstand, and attach the lamps to it. Then place the gold altar of incense in front of the sacred chest, and hang a curtain at the entrance to the tent. Set the altar for burning sacrifices in front of the entrance to my tent. Put the large bronze bowl between the tent and the altar, and fill the bowl with water. Surround the tent and the altar with the wall of curtains, and hang the curtain that was made for the entrance. Use the sacred olive oil to dedicate the tent and everything in it to me. Do the same thing with the altar for offering sacrifices and its equipment, and with the bowl and its stand. Bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance of the tent, and have them wash themselves. Dress Aaron in the priestly clothes, then use the sacred olive oil to ordain him and dedicate him to me as my priest. Put the priestly robes on Aaron's sons, and ordain them in the same way, so they and their descendants will always be my priests. Moses followed the Lord's instructions. And on the first day of the first month of the second year, the sacred tent was set up. The posts, stands, and framework were put in place. Then the two layers of coverings were hung over them. The stones with the Ten Commandments written on them were stored in the sacred chest. The place of mercy was put on top of it, and the carrying poles were attached. The chest was brought into the tent and set behind the curtain in the most holy place. These things were done exactly as the Lord had commanded Moses. The table for the sacred bread was put along the north wall of the holy place, after which the bread was set on the table. The lampstand was put along the south wall. Then the lamps were attached to it there in the presence of the Lord. The gold incense altar was set up in front of the curtain, and sweet-smelling incense was burned on it. These things were done exactly as the Lord had commanded Moses. The curtain was hung at the entrance to the sacred tent. Then the altar for offering sacrifices was put in front of the tent, and animal sacrifices and gifts of grain were offered there. The large bronze bowl was placed between the altar and the entrance to the tent. It was filled with water. Then Moses and Aaron, together with Aaron's sons, washed their hands and feet. In fact, they washed each time before entering the tent or offering sacrifices at the altar. These things were done exactly as the Lord had commanded Moses. Finally, Moses had the curtain hung around the courtyard. Suddenly, the sacred tent was covered by a thick cloud and filled with the glory of the Lord. And so Moses could not enter the tent. Whenever the cloud moved from the tent, the people would break camp and follow. Then they would set up camp and stay there until it moved again. No matter where the people traveled, the Lord was with them. Each day, his cloud was over the tent, and each night, a fire could be seen in the cloud.